Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's fourth video. We're going to have, oh, sorry, sorry. We're going to have a look at the Instant FX extended model for today's fourth video. We're going through the next six weeks for mean cell pressure, 500 millibar height, temperature, and precipitation anomalies uh, for the UK and for Ireland too. And I shall get on with that for you in a moment. Just to say, it's been a very busy day at Gareth's World with today. The uh, first update was, of course, a 6 a.m. broadcast. We'll release Jamie Friday and a 10 to 14 day or two. Going to be live streaming. Uh, <laughs> live streaming. Um, around 10.30. Uh, a little bit later on this evening. So uh, I shall see you for our Friday night live stream uh, then, maybe. Uh, so just say this uh, video, a uh, reason we release, we normally have releases on Saturday morning, but um, we, tomorrow we're going to be releasing the second and final spring 2023 season one around. We're getting 15 long range bars together. See what they're all showing for the spring. Uh, tomorrow at 10 a.m. or around 10 ish. Um, so uh, that's the reason that this video is being released on Friday night, you know, rather than Saturday morning. Uh, thank you so much, ECF.int, for supplying us with the chart. Thank you so much, EC. Well, well, well. <laughs> well, let's start then, shall we? If I'm slightly giddy, it's because I've got a week's reprieve today from having my root canal. <laughs> and uh, so I'll get myself set up for the live a little bit later on. Um, right, okay, so that explains it, I hope. Uh, right, okay, so start with week one, mean sea level pressure anomaly. It's going to take us from the 27th February to the 6th of March. Here we go. Next week, we'll have high pressure over and to the north of the UK. And uh, that will be lead to us bringing the wind from an easterly <laughs> direction. 500 millibar height anomalies. 500 millibar height anomalies from the Arctic and North Pole view down. With above average heights through much of the North Atlantic and into West of Europe as well. Well, here's a temperature anomaly for next week. Goodness gracious me, look at this. Well, well, well. It's a little bit colder than average in the south. In the south. Meanwhile, further north. I'm very sorry. Further north, it's a mild of an average for Scotland. So, mild in the north, cold in the south next week. And it's a very significantly dry of an average week as well. Look at that. Very substantially dry and all. But no sea scenarios are a little bit um, less dry. They're not wet, but each scenario is a little bit less dry compared to west. That could be showers coming in from up the North Sea, but I don't think they'll be cold enough for snow. Well, anyway, on to week two, which will be the 6th to the 13th of March. Oh... Ooh, ooh, blocking <laughs> around Greenland and Iceland with a trough of low. Across much of Northern Europe, could that bring the wind into a cold north to north easterly? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's have a look at the uh, 500 millibar height anomaly. Imagine if this would be like early to mid-January rather than early to mid-March. Would have been exciting, wouldn't it? Um, but anyway, we've got high pressure through the North Atlantic up to Greenland. Sort of below average height through the northwest of Europe. That looks like it should be bringing in a cold northerly, northeasterly, doesn't it? What are the temperature anomalies doing? Oh. <laughs> Not that exciting. Golden average for Northern Europe, mild average out west, here <laughs> normal for western parts of Europe. How's the precipitation looking? Oh, wow, wow, wow. It's going wetter than average to our east now. Driving average conditions pulling out to the north and the west. Right, well, let's have a look at week three. <laughs> Be the 13th to 20th of March. Here we go. Oh, oh, uh, we've got some low pressure through there. Bit of blocking still left around Greenland. What are the 500 millibar heights doing? Doing. Uh, <laughs> uh, we've got above average heights around Greenland and Iceland. Below average heights 
across Europe. It didn't look like it should be quite cold to me. It looks like I should bring him a win from a north, north, north easy direction, something like that. I don't know. Tension orange again, not that exciting though. They're a bit cold now, Joe Scandinavia. Modern average just throw west, otherwise not much of a signal. Or average and the precipitation anomaly. Uh, so a bit on the wet side just to our east and out in the Atlantic, a bit on the dry side to the north. Right, week four will be the 20th of March to the 27th. Oh, well now, oh. Well, now the blocking is increasing around Iceland again. How strange. <laughs> With low pressure further south. That's a bit odd, isn't it? The blocking reduces in... To, the blocking appears in week two. Reduces in week three. Strengthens in week four. Um, 500 millibar height anomaly. Looks like that. Above average heights around Greenland and Iceland. Below average heights to ourselves. Again, could be bringing like a cold east, northeasterly wind with that. What's the temperature anomaly going to do? Let's have a look. Uh, <laughs> so, you know, it's a weak signal now. Big on the cold side for northern Europe, mild average out there. And eastern Europe in particular looking quite mild. And the precipitation is drier to the north. See where the blocking is, can't you? Round ice and Greenland down. What now? <laughs> well, further south, it's a bit on the wet side. Right, that's that one done. Now, week uh, five will be the 27th of March to the 3rd of April. Here we go. Still blocking. We're in for an extended period of blocking if this is right. Plenty of high pressure within the high latitudes here. Um, you would have thought that's going to be bringing in the wind from the east there. What's the 500 millibar heights looking like? Again, blocking from Greenland through Iceland, the Norwegian Sea into Scandi. Uh, looks like it should be bringing in the wind from the east to me. Temperature anomaly is going a little bit wider. Remember, the further on into a spring we go, the less cold the easterlies are going to get. So by the time we get into like end of uh, March, early April, um, for cold weather, we're really going to need like a north-easterly component to the east. So like north of things, if you like. If you just bring in the easterly, that's not going to be that cold. I mean, it won't be warm, don't get me wrong. It won't be warm, um, but it won't be that cold. Uh, and uh, so this is why it's so dry. Around here, we've got all of the blocking wet down there. And lastly, week six will be the third to the tenth of March. This is it. And the blocking goes on. So very pronounced and prolonged blocking. This would be, you know, as a result of the SSW plenty of high pressure up towards Greenland and Iceland. However, 500 millibar heights looking, they're looking blocked around Iceland and into the North Atlantic. Low pressure down here. Temperature anomalies for week six look like that. We're actually getting colder again across Scandinavia and within high latitudes. And lastly, precipitation looks like that again. As it has been dry up here, we've got the blocking wetter down there. We've got the low pressure. It all remains to be seen. Really? Um, so that's it. <laughs> right, well, that was all right, weren't it? That weren't too bad. If you enjoyed the video, please do you like, share, and subscribe. And uh, we'll do it all over again next week. And next week's ECM Death 42 Day Slash Six Weeks Long Head for the UK and Ireland will be released next Saturday morning, I would have thought. Wow, wow, wow. Right, we're going to be back a little bit later on this evening with our Friday Night Live stream. So I shall see you live for that one. But uh, for this week's EC 30 day, 42 day, uh, <laughs> six weeks so look ahead for UK and for Ireland too. That's all for now. And thanks for watching. Bye for now.